Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crossing Cross, and welcome to Soul Cross Lines. Science so you can do, right at home. I'm just doing some lunar observation and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says. What would Earth be like without a moon? <laughs> That's a great question. Child. You will need a piece of cardboard, a plastic lid, a small pickle jar, some scissors, and a pen. Okay, get yourself a piece of cardboard, because we all need a piece. <laughs> and a plastic lid from a plastic container, as well as a small pickle jar. Now, we're going to take our pen and we're going to trace the pickle jar and the plastic lid. Now, poke a hole in the center of each circle and use some tape to make sure you set the circles at the same height. Now you're gonna give each of these a spin and watch what happens! <laughs> yes! And the little one, well, it toppled over. So, what does this have to do with why our moon is so important to Earth? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. You might think that all the moon does is pull on the Earth's water, but the moon does many things that affects the Earth. Since the moon rotates around the Earth at a 23 and a half degree angle, the moon's gravity also causes the Earth to tilt at 23 and a half degrees. One of the more important things the moon's gravity does is to pull on the Earth, helping to stabilize the planet's axis. The Earth's axis does wobble just a little bit, like the pen, but the moon helps to keep the planet stable, just like the big circle helped to stabilize the pen. Because the moon goes around the Earth, it picks up energy every time it makes its cycle, causing the moon to retreat at 3.5 centimeters every year. The moon's tidal action slows the Earth and gives the moon a push, which allows the moon to get the energy it needs to move away from the Earth. We know the moon is retreating because we left reflectors on the moon. Sometime around one and a half billion years from now, the moon's orbit will be so far away from Earth, we will lose this stability. As the moon retreats, the Earth's rotation will slow and will begin a chaotic wobble back and forth from zero to 90 degrees. Just like what happened with the smaller circle, this will have devastating effects on the Earth's climate as well as any life on the planet. So now you know why the moon up there is so important to planet Earth. You know, having a moon that stabilizes our axis is why science is so cool. <laughs>